a common complaint people have with the Motion app is that they cannot save their customization. So if you go into task and start a new task and you go to your path configuration, they have these presets, but if you customize, all this stuff is going to be reset every time. So <clears throat> here's how you save that. It's a little workaround. So you go to new task, just like before, and select whatever area. It really doesn't matter. Confirm. Now, here is the key. Change the frequency. Change it to a specified date right here. Go to specified date, scroll all the way down, choose the last date available. Save. Now come in to your customize. And I like to set my test speed to 2. I like to set my level to level 2. I like my perimeter lapse to be 2. I like perimeter to be last, which is exact first. And the cutting path angle needs to be 90. So that was a lot of settings. Also, notice how I got to that. You don't need to tap these one at a time or even press and hold. Just tap directly on this button here and you can edit it. Um, that's the same for task speed um, and start progress. Very important. You don't want to tap that 88 times if you want to do 88%. And so hit confirm. It doesn't matter. You can set your cutting height too. I would get everything exactly as you want and then hit save. What this is going to do is gives you a nice registry here of all of the settings that you like. And it's not going to run because you chose a date about a year from now. So every time you want to run this, what you want to do is use these three dots. And you have a couple of options. When you tap the three dots, you can either tell it task now which means you, it's just going to run right then if you already have all your settings exactly as you like. Or alternatively, if you want to tweak some things, just choose copy. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to tap copy. And now you don't want to keep it on the specified date or it won't run. So now you could change it to once only and it's going to run right now. Or you can come in and choose repeat. Now I understand that some people have differences for repeat. So if you're on Android with a Luba 2, you should be able to choose multiple days of the week. If you're on Luba 1, then you, there's a bug and you might only be able to choose one day of the week. I don't know if that's an Android or a Apple thing or if that's just Luba 1 across the board. But the point is, I'm on Android and Luba 2, and so I'm able to choose multiple days of the week. For the most part, though, I prefer just to choose one day of the week at a time anyway. So that way you can tweak it. You can come in here and change up the areas. It doesn't matter. You can change everything you want. But see all those customizations that I made last time? They're all there. It didn't reset all my customizations. So, just hit confirm and save. And so now I have a new task. Task number four. And it's going to run in 23 hours. And this one is still saved with all my defaults. So that's what I recommend doing in order to save um, all of your settings. It's a nice little workaround. It seems to work nicely without any downsides. I've had a couple of glitches, but they're pretty minor. You just restart the app and your settings should be correctly saved. Uh, one more thing. If you're in the map and you have an error, as shown right here, 
the way the app is programmed is very dumb and that error is on top of this button right here so if you try tapping right here to see your errors see the little bell there that's always your errors or your notifications as they like to say if you try tapping right there it's not going to work if you try tapping right here it should work but sometimes that can be really hard to tap so let me show you a different way to do it so instead just come up here and choose your back arrow when you choose your back arrow now you're on this screen and you can just choose that button freely without any interference so that's what i like to do okay so if your luba gets stuck like mine is then you would probably find this to be a good time to pull up the camera if you have a luba too but normally the camera button somewhere around there and it's not because they've got the manual operation button there so here's what you do you come up here to your settings and then you come to manual operation mode and tap video. You know, mine's in the dark, so no great video for you. But that's how you do it. Another workaround is when it says Luba is stuck. Sometimes you're able to hit recharge. So it usually won't let you continue, but you can hit recharge. So We'll see. Continue in front of Bird Point and see what happens. See if there's any movement. Okay, it's working. So we're fine. But sometimes if it won't let you do that, you can tell it to recharge. Another related item is that if it says that it has poor positioning and cannot complete a task, tell it to recharge and sometimes it will and that will give it a chance to connect to a satellite.